Let's format in Canvas with tables so that you can take your pages, assignments, discussion boards from this kind of a layout to this kind of a layout, and it's super easy to do. I'm going to open up this page and click on edit. So I've got the rich content editor and you can add tables wherever the rich content editor is. I want to put my picture and this about me information into the same table so that it shows up instead of vertically aligned, it shows up horizontally aligned. So I want to put my cursor here at the top of the page and I'm going to go ahead and insert a table. So I'm going to click table and then insert table. I just arrow down and then arrow over. I'm just hovering over the number of cells that I want and I want to picture and the text. So I click on those two and it gives me a table. I can go ahead and hover until I get the cursor that I want where I've got this um, change tool. So I'm going to go ahead and change the size. I guess it would be like a sizing tool. I'm going to go ahead and change the size that way. Let's go ahead and cut and paste and put the photo in this first cell. I am going to right click and cut and then up here I'm going to right click and paste. So I've got my photo there. I'm going to go ahead and do the very same thing with my about me information. So I'm going to highlight that information. I'm going to right click and cut and then up into my second cell I'm going to right click and paste. Now there's a little bit of formatting that I want to do but really not a lot. I do like the fact that there's some area in between the text and my photo. I can get that sizing tool back and maybe move it back just a little bit but what I really want want to do if I click off of that I want to get rid of that border. I'm going to highlight my table and I'm going to go up to my table menu and then I'm going to choose table properties. In table properties you can change that border width and I want to change the border width to zero. You also want to have this show caption unchecked and mine is already unchecked. You can put a caption on this for accessibility purposes if a student is using a screen reader. It will still read the caption for them. From here you can also change the entire alignment of the table on the page. So you might want to align the entire table to be centered on the page instead. You can check out the advanced to change some colors and some styles, but we're not going to do that for this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So there it is. Now let's put the other information into a table as well. First of all, you'll notice that I've separated this information with a horizontal line. That's a really great, easy formatting tool. Huge impact. You go insert and then choose horizontal line to get the horizontal line like I've got there. I already had it, so let me go ahead and undo this. I'm going to take out a space there and I want to go ahead and add a table for the contact me. I want that table directly below the how to contact me heading. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So I've got my cursor where I want the table. Now I'm going to go to my table menu, down to table and hover over the number of cells that I want. I want six of them, three for those headings. Now my information is message me in Canvas, homework question and office hours. So I'm going to give those as the headings. And now let's move our information up into the cells. So I'm just going to select it and do the same thing that I did up above, cut and paste, doing a control V to paste. I also have some images here, so let's move those as well. You can also click, drag and hold to move those into the places that you want them. Let's say I want an enter right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and move this one as well. So just doing some formatting. Once I've got this one the way I want it, I can go ahead and do the other two. So I've got everything here in my table, but there's a few more formatting things that I want to do to make this look nicer. Starting with centering and making those headings bold. So let me go ahead and grab my top row here. Just click holding and dragging to select. I'm going to make the wording bold. And I'm also going to use my align tool up here and choose center align. The next thing that I want to do is to change the background color for my header row. I'm going to go up to my table menu and then cell and then cell properties. 
To get the color, I'm going to go to Advanced, and then I'm going to change the background color by clicking on this checkered box. And I'm going to choose Light Gray, and then I click on Save. Let's see how that looks. That's looking great. Now, if I scroll down and look at my body cells, I notice that they are aligned all kind of funky. I want them to all be top aligned vertically. So I'm going to go ahead and select these cells. Again, I'm just click holding and dragging and I'm going to go to table and from table I'm going to choose cell and again cell properties. You might need to scroll down but you're looking for this vertical align and I want the vertical align to be on top and then I click save. Let's take a look and I'm going to click save here so we can see what it looks like for our students. It looks great. Let me show you a few other things that you can do with tables. I also have pages, I teach math, so I also have these pages in each of their modules that have homework question videos. This is how I answer students' homework questions. And I've got a table set up with these. Whenever a student asks a new question, let me go ahead and click edit. I can put my cursor into the table and I get these tools here that allows me to add a new row. So I can go ahead and add a new row up above and put in that homework question. Let me click on cancel. Using tables to format your homepage is another great way to format information for your students. On this particular homepage for my statistics course, I've got a table that contains the buttons taking them to important things in the course. Take a look at this video here. It's going to show you how to create those buttons with links to other places in your courses. Thank you so much for watching.